Hello Cloud Perceptors. Today I'm going to show you how you can locate source IP address in EC2 with an application load balancer. So this is the setup I already have uh, completed okay, where I have an application load balancer and uh, in a VPC I have EC2 instance okay, which sits in the public subnet. So the purpose of this is like, let's say you have an application that is running in uh, EC2 instance, okay? And uh, you want to know the client IP address. So what it's gonna return. So uh, see, when you, when you when your application tries to get client IP address, it, it is currently returning the private IP address of ENI for your application load, <coughs> load balancer, okay? <coughs> So we'll, we'll uh, see a hands-on demo where I'm going to sh show you each step. Okay. Okay, so I'm logged into my EC2 dashboard. Okay, so I have my load balancer running over here. Okay, which is having this public DNS name. So I'll just open that and show you. See, it's up and running, okay. It is having one listener rule, which is pointing to the test target group. And here is the EC2 instance that I, I will be going to use for this demo, okay? And let me show you the security group for this EC2, okay? So this is the security group where we are having two rules. One is HTTP and the source is the uh, security group for application load balancer okay and then there is the ssh uh, because i want to connect it from the ec2 console i have enabled it for all ip okay so that's it let's uh, log into this ec2 instance now okay So as you can see, the private IP and public IPs are shown over here. Okay, let me just show you each of the command. So first command is what I have done is I have added, I have edited this Apache2.com. So I have loaded a module for remote IP. Since I don't have any application, I'm just logging the client IP address in the logs of Apache, okay? So all the custom logs are going to be put into this access log combined, okay? And this is the log format. So after doing these steps, what I have done is, I have restarted my uh, Apache, okay? and yeah i've restarted my uh ttpd okay and now i'll show you the logs okay we'll we'll keep it open over here so i'll run a cat command okay let me do a tail <laughs> since there are too many entries i'll show you by doing the tail okay so this is the access log all right this looks good let me clear this out and let me run uh like invoke this alb url all right, so you see this, right? This is showing an IP address, 172.31.17.196, okay? And if you look at the EC2 private IP, it is totally different. The end, it ends with 46.83, and here we are having uh, 17.196. So what is this, okay? This is the client IP of 
I, I mean, this is the IP address of ENI for your uh, application load balancer. Okay, so let's look at that first. Okay, let me uh, see my load balancer's name is ALB. Okay, so I'm going to quickly go into the security group and <coughs> Sorry, I'm going to go into the network interface, okay? And I'm going to quickly search for ELB. Okay, so we have... Let me search it over here itself. Okay, sorry, ELB. Yep, so this is the one which we are having. The interface. And if you look at the 1A, right, where we have our instance we have our EC2 in 1A, okay, subnet 1A. Let me show you that. Let's confirm that part. Subnet, public subnet A, okay. So, the public subnet A is into... AP South 1A, all right and ap south 1a so this is the correct network interface that currently it is pointing to ec2 from load balancer okay and this this is the eni that is connected with alb okay so let's look at the ip address now so 39.36 okay and Yeah, so here you see, right, 39.36. So this is the one, okay. Let's do a refresh again. Thirty-nine point thirty-six. You can see it is showing uh, details, okay, like browser type was was the version of windows and all of the stuff okay so this is the ip that is belonging to our <coughs> uh, the network interface for the application load balancer okay so this this is how it works okay so it is not showing the actual ip address of my client but it is showing the ip address of my network interface of ELB. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching this video. In the next video, I'm going to post the same, uh, you know, answer. I, I'll try to get the same answer for network inter network uh, load balancer. Okay. So thanks for watching this video. Do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you again.